This tutorial is going to be the remake version of a paper crane earring. The original tutorial was created a year ago. If you are curious and interested to view it, please check the info box. After viewing the original video, um, I think there's a key area that needs to be improved. This little technique will help the crane to maintain its shapes and its durability. Materials and tools Some papers Jewelry pliers Scissors Clear tape Head pin, eye pin And ear wires In this tutorial, I will not go into details on how to make the paper green, but if you check the info box, you will find a link to a tutorial that will show you how to make them. Before you make the paper crane, cover the paper entirely with the clear tape. This is the technique that will help the paper to be more thicker and more durable. Use the handle of a scissor to smooth out any surface bubble. Now carefully cut off any excess tape. Now you can use the paper to make the crane. Be sure to check the info box for the link. Take a head pin and poke it through the bottom of the crane. Try to get it at the center as possible. Pull the head pin all the way to the belly of the crane. Place the jewelry pliers at the base of the crane, bend at 90 degree angle and reposition the plier. Wrap the loose wire over the plier. Reposition the plier and insert the lower barrel of the plier to the hoop. Then complete the 360 degree wrap. Cut where it formed the perfect circle. You can insert the crane to a simple hoop e-wire. If you don't care for the hip hoops look, maybe you would prefer more of a lovely length. The concept is quite similar. Instead of using a head pin, you just have to use an eye pin. Insert the pin to the base of the crane as usual. But this time, don't pull the pin all the way to the belly of the crane. Now these are the same steps that I mentioned before. You reposition the pliers and loop the loose wire over the plier. Don't worry, you get used to making them once your friends and family start requesting you to make them. Here I use a jump ring to connect a chain to the base of the crane. Of course, you can use whatever you want, just explore your creativity. I can also insert this crane to hook earring, but instead I want to use a fish hook ear wire. The earring is fun and easy to make. The tape covering the paper really helps the crane to maintain its shape. It also provides a glossy finish to make it look a bit more elegant. As you can see, I also play around with different designs. And the best part is, it will not get damaged in the rain.